private rail car was the corporate jet of the early 20th century. Steel mogul Charles Schwab bought this car in 1902 for $40,000 and used it to travel the country for both business and pleasure. Let's take a look inside and see how the rich traveled in style. Private cars were coupled to the back of regular passenger trains. Most had a parlor and open platform where passengers could hang out and watch the tracks recede behind them. This narrow hallway is a common sight on railroad sleeping cars with bedrooms off to the side. Besides the obvious bed, the mirror image bedrooms also featured a large wardrobe, plenty of storage, and this nifty chair, which is also a toilet and also a sink. A bathroom shared between the two bedrooms included a toilet, sink, and a marble bathtub. This was unusual on a train because you had to carry all your own water with you. When mealtime came, you wouldn't even have to walk to the diner. This car has its own dining room, kitchen, and staff of two, including a chef. The chef and steward slept in humble accommodations off the kitchen, but guests of the Schwab family slept in these beautiful fold-down berths with wood inlay. Underneath this fold-down berth, two couches folded out into a bed. I've got all sorts of accessories here. A mirror for freshening up, a call button for the porter, even a reading light. Most of the wood in this car is mahogany, with hand-carved plaster ceilings and stained glass clerestory windows. The car was built with gas lamps and modernized in 1912 with new electric lighting powered by batteries under the floor. Generators connected to the axles recharged the batteries as the car rolled down the rails. Charles Schwab bought a new private car in 1917, the Loretto II. This car was renamed Bethlehem and continued serving other company officers. In 1939, the car was sold to the Lancaster and Chester Railway, owned by the Springs family of Springs Mills. The car was moved to Fort Mill, South Carolina, where it was used for business luncheons and as a guest cottage. In 1978, the railway donated it to the museum, where volunteers helped restore it to its former glory.